All right, let's graph inequalities. Um, pretty straightforward. If you've already done any kind of um, solving for x, then this is pretty, pretty much the same thing. In your mind, just um, think of this as equals. <clears throat> and to make it easier. So what we'll do is we're going to multiply both sides by negative 7. Negative 7. And that will cancel. That will cancel. So it gives us x which is smaller than or equal to negative 14 and so we have our line create a line and on that line uh, we'll start at negative 14 somewhere around here and this line is um, it's going to be a solid so I'll make my circle yeah, about right there. And I'll fill it in. It has to be filled in. And the arrow, uh, we'll, use, uh, we'll use this and we'll use a different color. Let's see if I get a window here, colors. We'll use a different color, we'll use red. And let's see, solid. Style, style. Okay, so now let's just draw that and draw that out and give it an arrow. Now it's solid here, and of course, zero is here and 14 somewhere over there, but it's a solid zero or a solid circle. Now let's try a different one. Uh, six four zero four eight zero, and go back to my regular schedule color scheme, and let's try um, let's say x uh, over five is greater than negative 3. So again, we're just going to solve for x, treating this as if it was an equal sign, which is not, but we'll treat it that way. 5, 5, x is greater than negative 15. And we'll take our line, and here is negative 15. And this one, is going because it's greater than negative 15 then it's definitely not going to be included in that set so we'll draw our line out and our line will go something like that 0 somewhere here 15 positive 15 somewhere over there all right uh, pretty straightforward this was graphing inequalities. Thanks for watching.